Let me tell you, I, I've had the energy of an old man for about a week now. You have not seen my channel as much as you should have. I've been dropping videos late. I've been dropping videos non-existent. I've had my wife edit absolutely everything, and yet the show must go on. And today, to support the habit, I brought an entire bag of Starburst. The entire thing. Please stop. Completely please. full. Okay. And okay, I left okay, nothing okay, to okay, the okay, okay, I get it. I get it. If I'm going to be obnoxious, you're going to be obnoxious. I understand. I'm going to eat them one at a time to keep myself awake. Do not judge me for it. All right? And if I stop talking, read my facial expression. And if I have none of that, read my fucking mind. <laughs> I really would like you to, are you putting them back into the bag? Yeah, I don't want them on the table. Excuse me. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> You're making a mess. Yeah, I am a little bit. I only need one of these though. So There's so the many starbursts. It's a bag of about how many? How many is in here? I don't know. It's uh, 15 ounces worth. There's so 15 servings of about six pieces. There we go. So 15 times six minus four is what we've eaten today. And there's some on the ground, but don't worry about those. And on your toes. So here we go. Zafrank. We've not done a Zafrank video in a while. He does music. He does you rhymes. Just it over and again. he says everything that's on my mind. Zafrank. Are you ready, my love? I am ready. Are you ready? I am not. But we're gonna get started anyways because time waits for no man. This episode sponsored by Hunt a Killer. So fun. I love Hunt a Killer. Welcome to the True Facts Animal Awards. Celebrating animals with awards. <laughs> Jerry, that didn't add gravitas. Whatever. In the category of best worst jumping, there were nice. quite a few entries. I mean, come on, it's not rocket science to be oh awesome at being terrible at jumping. In oh fact, rocket God. science would really screw you in this category. A notable entry was the globular springtail. So oh great my launch. God. It looks quite acrobatic. Right, I was going to say, All this tucked is great. in like that, full rotations. <laughs> and then he takes it right on the face. <laughs> I was sliding away. Oh <laughs> Keep cool. God. They he think it's on purpose. The but if you want to win this category, you have to go up against so, frogs in the genus Brachycephalus. Wow. Look at it. It's not dead. I mean, these wow. guys are famous for bad jumping. Just They're not happy up. about it. You know, some of them have glow in the dark bones. Why not be famous for that? But the deal with Brachycephalus is that they really went all in on the miniaturization thing. They're f***ing tiny. Some of the smallest vertebrates on Earth. So bravo. But to get that small, there's sacrifices. They lost some toes and fingers along the way. There's a couple of species that seem to have lost the ability to hear their own mating calls, which is a bit poetically heartbreaking. I mean, the deal is that some equipment just doesn't scale down all that well. In particular, there's this little organ that vertebrates have made of three loops that stick out in different directions. Okay. It's inside the ear. When accelerated, fluid inside those loops slosh around and trigger little sensory hairs, which help the brain figure out how to balance and maintain posture. Right. Turns out there's a limit to how small you can shrink this before the system breaks down. So when they <laughs> jump, their little bodies aren't getting information uh, about what the hell's oh happening. So the best strategy seems to be stiffen up and stretch out. <laughs> They jump, their brain no. goes, I am completely lost. I am completely lost. Staying big helps oh. reduce the rotations. But it turns out that Brachycephalus isn't the only group of frogs That's that so have a funny. complicated relationship with the jump. First, let's remind ourselves what normal frog jumping looks like. Like a this jump. This here is Bombina orientalis. Move it. A nice looking jump, and then the arms come forward to brace for impact, and the All hind right. legs kind of follow through. The end result Me? being that it's ready for the next jump very soon after landing. Right. All right, so you've seen how it's supposed to be done. Okay. Now, there's a group Give it to of me. frogs in the genus Liaipelma that split off from other frogs about 200 million years ago. Got let's it. take a look at their form. Okay. <laughs> See if you can spot the difference. <laughs> Okay. Wait for the it. The legs. His arms. No arms. His arms. The whole face. His arms. No His arms. arms. It's amazing. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> Just so you don't think it's Here's one drunk one. frog. <laughs> oh, that's Very a tough flopped. one. All right. You're probably wondering what the f is wrong with that. <laughs> so it's thought that the taking off part of jumping evolved first as an escape mechanism into water. The landing uh -huh. bit evolved later when frogs became more terrestrial. These oh. old school frogs never really got into jumping. And they never evolved a way to water. gracefully land. Oh but still, God. no match for our winner, nah, bro, he's special. Next up, we have best animal call. Okay, I'm ready. Subcategory, clown shoes. What? <laughs> <laughs> this one's the winner. 
It's perfect. That, that is actually pretty in good. The now, I thought when I heard uh-huh. those sounds uh-huh. in nature right. that they were birds. Me too. You're telling me they were fucking... That- Gophers and, and freaking yeah, just like marsupials, really <laughs> rodents. I didn't fucking know that. That's I would cute. be like, oh, listen to the sound of the bird. I assume every chirping is a bird. Right? Yeah. 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 In the category nature photographer, I want to party with. What? Ah, it's a pygmy yeti. <laughs> I joke with you. It's is a that? pregnant meerkat. Oh. But who decides to film that egg? <laughs> <laughs> why are we? Why are we looking at this mere cussy? Yeah, dude, that's messed up. Right. All right, you Hold can on, move on whenever you're ready. There's a shot I gotta get. <laughs> and the meerkat who's on the lookout chooses to ignore the weirdo I just, lying I can't beneath look. her, filming her crotch. This is a violation. Hit me, Yeti. Hey, Tina, Lauren, what? check. Oh, hey, Nancy. Guys, check this out. Ready? Hold on, I got Wait, wait, what's the category? I was laughing. Most unfortunate sage grouse. Okay. Hey, Tina, Lori, check... Oh, hey, Nancy. Guys, <laughs> check this out. Ready? Hold on, I got a... All right. <laughs> Did you see it? What the f***? not notice that? Hunter Killer makes these immersive murder mystery games. They do, I they do, do this. this one, Dead Below Deck. It comes in a box with tons of clues and a mystery for you to solve. In this case, it happened on a luxury cruise and there was a dead body. Not in the box. They don't ship you a Damn. dead body. You can bring your own. Anyways, there's tons of clues and evidence and you have to make timelines and crack codes. Had to figure out how to get into this thing. And no, I won't tell you what's inside. And that's not the combination either. Suck it. I... I did Curtain Call, Mm -hmm. and there's another one that I did. They are very fun. Right. If you are of age, do it with some, like, period-specific drinks. Ugh, it's a good time. Right. Snacks, it's fantastic. Had a great time. My wife is pro-snack. I'm all, all... All yeah. the time. Yeah. Snacks out for every right. event, bro. We just went to a UFC fight and it was the first freaking event that we'd been to where there was mm-hmm. a bar, but there were there were no snack no bar. Snacks. There was nowhere for you to no buy snacks. food. And I was I complained about it the whole time. We were yeah. there, how many hours were we there? Four. You were there for like four hours. Yep. And I was just so mad. I was like, I, well, I just can't believe this. It's so weird for a venue like this to not have. And it husband. wasn't like persistent, like annoying. It was like, oh, man, I'm going to get a drink. Yeah, man, it's where they don't have snacks here. You're like, yeah, we've, we've noted that. You don't have to <laughs> remind me we're just sitting around in between fights. Good knockout. Good knockout. I'm going to go for a snack right I'm now. Kinda, I'm like, because huh? I was hungry. <laughs> and like, I didn't eat before because I just assumed that there were going to be snacks. Right. You didn't sneak any in either. No. Exactly. And I could have. They were not like checking like that. Could have just snuck in some snacks. I was hungry. I but was anyways, so hungry. period specific drinks, some snackage. It's a good time. It's fun fashion on a budget. Oh. But we need to hear the name of the insect. We've replayed it a couple times. Winners are leaf beetles in the family Chrysomilidae. Some of okay. these Chrysomilidae. baby beetles hold on to body parts that they shed in a molt. It's like That's wearing a coat dope. made out of a sunburn peel. Others you know. use their own feces to create a sort of defensive shield. It's like Captain America reimagined by a fetish pornographer. What? Bro, that was what a great reference. Yeah. Yeah, he nailed it. Oh my God. That's cool and disgusting. You want to see how it's done? Sure. This is the larva of a tortoise beetle in the process of adding excrement to those two things that sort of arch over its body, sometimes referred to as an anal fork. Two words that should not be that close together. Shut up. Google anal fork. I will not. Google it. No. Right now. Absolutely not. I need to know. That will not be in my search history. Google tuning anal fork. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> These shields grow over time and you have to learn how to maneuver them. It's like trying to walk down Fifth Avenue with an umbrella. This aphid's like, oh, that's a cool hat. Where'd you get? Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> You're wearing sh- And you can imagine that once this becomes a fashion trend, everyone wants in, tries to outdo each, o- outdo each other. Wow. It gets a bit out of hand, to be ah! honest. Really smacks against most of the... He's sick. That man is sick. Look at it. Oh, God. Current conventions in fashion. <laughs> I mean, there are some classier presentations. Okay. Hemispherata cyania, for example, creates a fecal thatch, which looks like a pile of shoestring potatoes I'd be happy to have next to my ribeye. The larva is hidden underneath it, and it creates those long strands of feces using what is called an anal turret. And look at that, it's... <laughs> an anal turret? 
an anal turret? How have I loved insects this long and they never heard this? They already talk about how durable that thing is. It can survive anything. Nothing about the anal forks. Nothing about the anal turret. And it's locked and loaded, baby, shooting strings. <laughs> Holy hell. All right, let's continue. This is incredible. Thanks, Sir Frank. You're, you're bringing us to a new horizon, bud. Wait, I can't cry. Take I'm your time. My island. Dry the tears. We are at the new horizon. <laughs> I had to stop eating my candy. If I run out of energy, it's because I can't eat. What the fuck? Stack of anal forks from its former bodies. Butt beetles in the, sorry, but beetles in the genus Neoclamysis went but all in beetles. on this strategy of looking like crap. This right here is a mummy beetle, and she's laid an egg underneath a leaf. Then she carefully encases it in a little onesie made out of her own feces. When the egg hatches, the larva emerges, but then it flips over and carries its mummy's poop house on its back. But the larva needs to grow, what? so it starts to add its own feces to its surroundings. Get, get the fuck out of here. You are lying to me right now. I am not, um, I'm not a person <laughs> that technically, that typically mm -hmm. laughs at poop jokes. Right. This is next level, dude. <laughs> you never heard poop house. Oh, You've never heard oh my God. real life poop house. How does it do that? Well, <laughs> they figured that out. <laughs> to see where the poop was being added, a science hippie painted that little turd hat. A few hours later, you can see where the new stuff was added. Keep doing that over and over again, and you can put a little element of surprise for the kids on Easter morning. <laughs> wow. Anyway, this goes on until they pupate inside of a ball of their own crap. And what emerges is a warty leaf beetle. And warty leaf beetles have evolved to mimic oh. caterpillar poop. Here, can you tell which one's the beetle? Okay, sure, I like these games, I'll play. Uh, go I think the they're all beetles except for this one. I'll go with one of the top left. This one. Yep. He's real round. You can't because they hide their arms and legs like little transformers. <laughs> except they don't transform into cars. They transform into sh here. You can see the little antennae peeking oh, out. Oh, there and it is. The bottom left. I think oh, the I top left. Him. Yeah. What you're thinking? There must be a lot of caterpillar poo if things evolved to look like it. Well, unlike the beetles, the caterpillars want nothing to do with their excrement. This right here is a skipper caterpillar, and it's just about to poop. Ready? It's like a magic trick. I mean, wow. that clown would get arrested, but still, Ew, for years, it was shit. assumed that the poop was sort of flicked by something called an anal comb. It turns out this structure is more of a latch, allowing... Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have anal fork. Yep. Anal turret. S tier. <laughs> anal fork, I go A tier. Anal turret, I go S tier. Anal comb. Anal comb is more like an anal catapult, if you need to put it into perspective. I would say double S tier. <laughs> okay. Anal catapult? Are you kidding me? That's incredible. Pressure to build up behind it and deform an anal plate. Enough pressure and the latch trips. Anal plate. Actually, it's more like anal gun. Okay, so... Anal fork, mm -hmm. anal plate, anal turret, mm -hmm. anal comb, mm -hmm. anal plate. Yep. Okay. And the whole thing sort of squeeze pops off like a tiddlywink. And they figured some of this out by painting spots on the butt of a caterpillar and then seeing how the paint was transferred to the poop pellet. It's what happens when your parents don't let you go to art school. <laughs> Who is responsible? <laughs> Who is responsible <laughs> for painting the caterpillar butt? Whose job is it? To go in there and dab paint on this caterpillar's I bet you, butt. I bet you they pulled lots. I bet you they couldn't wait to dab paint on the caterpillar butt. Most likely to have splashback in the urinal. That's this is go disgusting. Guys, button up. Okay? Lock it down. This, this is, is going to get gross. Poorly. Yeah. This is getting bad. Go ahead. Sharp shooters in the family Cicadellidae have a similar right. thing going, except with urine. They eat plant juice, which is essentially 95% water. And that means they have to pee a lot. A lot. Like 300 times their body weight. And you Damn. want to put some distance between you and that puddle. So oh they have something God. called an anal stylus, which has some hard parts to it and some springy parts. We'll they just squeeze continue. out a little droplet onto that stylus. And then the stylus springy parts load up like a well, spring. And then pop, the whole thing goes <laughs> off. The cool thing is, is that the water droplet That's moves nuts. faster than the stylus flicked. 
And that's because the sharpshooter takes advantage of the fact that water droplets can act like little rubber balls. If you accelerate them just right, the droplet will have time to compress and expand, exerting an additional force on the pushing surface. Wow. And this allows the droplet to fly faster than the flicker flicked, which That's is great crazy. because it gets the pee far away, and it also requires less energy from the sharpshooter compared to, like, you know, peeing in a stream, not in a stream, like in the form of well, a you stream. You can see it like jump. we do it, unless you yeah. do it different. No judgment. Boing. Finally, in the category of most creative home security system, I'm the winner is this Asiatic honeybee, Apis serrata. These bees have a problem. Their hives often get attacked by groups of these giant hornets. Yeah. So they They're decided huge. to do something about it. <laughs> Here's one of those bees out on a big pile of animal feces. I know oh what you're saying, so God. what? Everyone's got their thing, Frank. but this bee is collecting Frank. that feces. Here, Frank. you can see one with a little nugget tucked between its mouth parts. It's not just that one either, they're all doing it. And so what happens is they bring it back to the entrance of their hive and do a little plastering job. Lo and behold, if you smear a bunch of shit around your doorway, you get fewer visitors. It's brilliant. <laughs> I'm sure they laughed at the first bee that came up with it. Benny, what you doing there? Sorry, I can't understand you, Benny. Your mouth is full. Uh, all right, I'll leave you to it. Okay, Benny? Weirdo. Wow. That was... Guys, this is just, this is just incredible. I, I just have never learned so many things about poop and pee. And, and I'm an adult. And I thought I knew everything there was <laughs> to know about it. I thought I pretty much got it down. And yet, there's a whole world out there. Um, he gave a thanks to some of the researchers. I would like to think that we are on the uh, cusp of knowledge here with the shit turret. Um, and, and if you guys have any idea how to use an anal tuning fork, I would be all into listening. My next name mm -hmm. in a video game is going to be Anal Turret. Anal Turret, yeah. That's a pretty good one. And they're like character. And when Diablo 4 comes out officially, because yeah. like we played the beta, right? Yeah. When Diablo 4 comes out officially, my husband's going to be Anal Fork. And I'm going to be <laughs> Anal Turret. <laughs> you can have it with 10 characters. Fuck it, I'm down. <laughs> also, quick Diablo 4 story. Uh, thanks for joining this Frank video. If you're done with Animal Facts, thanks for joining me. We love those kind of things on our channel. There's a playlist. You can watch some other things of us watching or failing to watch the Frank with me and my wife in it. But now to a Diablo 4 story. I was Hold not on, feeling breathe. the best. I was not feeling the best. Okay, I'm a pro at this. I can go with this. I was not feeling the best. Mm. I was sleeping on the couch. Mm. KO'd. Knock the fuck out. And my wife shakes me awake like there's an intruder in the house. And I shit you not, I became the anal turret. <laughs> hey! I'm like, ah, ah. I did not yell. Dude, and I'm I like, did not what? Yell. She's like, babe. And she's turning on her controller, turning on my controller, not even asking if I'm good. She's already logging into the game. And she's like, the world boss, we gotta go. And I was like, how long do we have? It's like five minutes, fuck. So then we fucking ran in and, and found our way to the world boss to fight it. But the first time we fought the world boss, I was level 22, she was 23. Yeah. And the beta's cap is 25, so the world boss is 25. And we just got fucking farmed. Wrecked. But I told my wife, I was like, if we don't max out and then grind legendaries, like we're not probably not gonna be able to beat the world boss in the beta. Yeah. So that's what we did. We grinded the characters out, got some pretty good weapons. And then we fought it, and and then I went back to sleep promptly after. I think we ran like two or more quests or something. Then I just went right back to sleep, yeah. like immediately. Thank you guys for watching with us. I'm gonna go make my husband go to bed because he's just clearly not feeling well. Guys, listen, I'm just I want to stay for the party. I really do. You can't. I would really hate to miss. Say goodbye. Out, but I'm gonna say goodbye. Uh, thank you, Zafrank, again for a great one. I will see you guys later.